You're now listening to the Z Listers podcast with Brady Neal and AJP. All right. Zero, uh, zero character recognition here. Nobody's going to know it's us. Oh, yeah. We can do anything we want. Welcome to the Z Listers. Welcome to the Z Listers Halloween special. You know what I love about coming out on Sundays? is that this is our real ho- I know we did four but this is our real Halloween episode yeah other podcasts had to do their shitty little Halloween episode last week uh-huh. because they come out after Tuesdays idiots so any podcast that comes out after Tuesday which is what day Halloween falls on they Wait. had to do theirs last week how we sh- win but Halloween's not always a Tuesday no 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 but I'm saying this year yeah any podcast that comes out on a day after Tuesday Ah, but we win. We win with my broken pinky. Look at this fucking... That is correct. This was $70. <laughs> yeah, you paid a lot of money for these costumes. and I... it, was an, it was a very expensive month. <laughs> Let me just say that. But we have fun here, man. But I appreciate you and your continued support of our show. And we won't say whatever we said last episode because it got us suppressed. <laughs> you can't say cute little Pope cock. Yeah. <laughs> I'll bleep it. Uh, yeah, we got like no views on the last episode and I don't know what that was about. It was very touchy subject matter. I was also <laughs> the Pope. And you, you made a very crazy gesture for the thumbnail. What, I, oh, did yeah. I do a blowjob thing? Yeah. Uh. I censored it, but <laughs> I think the combination of that with the pulp, I, I think that's right. what did it. People need to lighten up, you know? I thought this was going to be way scarier than it is, but <laughs> ah! we're just, we have red lights on us and we're scary. We should have jump scares every so often. Just okay. keep people on their toes. Ah! That'd be good. <laughs> that hurt my neck. <laughs> How you doing? I'm great, dude. That's good. I couldn't wait to do this. I love I love it. <laughs> I don't know why we develop these accents as soon as we put the masks on, but <laughs> Are you gonna go trick or treating? No. Oh. You know something I was thinking about? Um I was four I was either thirteen or fourteen mm-hmm. and I went on Halloween to my cousins in New Hampshire. Mm-hmm. Stop. <laughs> and we got stuck in a lot of traffic. And uh-huh. I, I don't know what I was, but I know I had like a really cool costume. And the plan was to go up there and like spend some time with them. And we, we didn't get there till like nine o'clock. Uh-huh. And I remember I cried because I was like, this is my last Halloween. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like you're at a certain age, you can't trick or treat anymore. Yeah. And I felt like I was right on that cusp. <laughs> and we got there and I didn't get to trick or treat. So. Oh, that's so sad. That's where my trauma started. I remember one year I went with my little brother and sister trick or treating. I was probably like 16, 17 at the time. Mm-hmm. I was like like accompanying them quote unquote but like really i wanted to trick or treat too yeah yeah and uh like there were some households where the parents were like "Mm -hmm." they get old i I remember specifically one guy was like oh wow these trick-or-treaters get older and older every year (laughs) and then i felt like a piece of shit but you didn't because you wanted the candy yeah it was fun yeah i wish let's normalize adults going trick-or-treating okay yeah why not why, because why what, do we have to participate in drunken debauchery if we want to enjoy Halloween as adults? Like, I, Also, if it's a really little kid with the parents, like a two or three year old, yeah. they can't eat the candy. Yeah. So it's for the parents anyway. It's stupid. Yeah. What do you feel about Halloween parties? Um, I don't know. Now that I'm not single, it's like, what's the point? Why you don't? I feel like it's more, it could be more fun now. That you're taking. You could do a cute couple's costume. I guess so. There, it's there's hot. That. I'm, I'm just like, I'm, you know, I'm just there to check out the women. And then, like, if I can't do anything, then. That's crazy. Well, I guess I. That's make not sense. that crazy. I'm just saying, like, I can't hook up with women because <laughs> I have a girlfriend, which is great and fine. And I love her. But, like, what's the fucking point? You know, let's yeah. just stay in and watch scary movies. I don't need to go to a party. Yeah. I don't know. I'm kind of conflicted because I feel like Halloween parties are like a college thing. Uh-huh. And if you're 28, 29, 30, yeah. what are you doing? And now that's, I say that's that- That's why you got to get a girlfriend that's still in college. Whoa. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. And you have one and you yeah. didn't go? To uh, no, we went into the city and- and You were home by nine o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> and there were people out like on the college campus, like partying oh, and shit. Yeah, we yeah. were like, we got to get to bed. 
That's crazy. Yeah. How did you find the one boring college? <laughs> I meant to ask you too. I, I meant to ask you, is she okay? How is she doing? Mm. Yesterday was a very tragic day for white women. Why? Matthew Perry died. Oh, yeah. She's fine. You got to check in on your white friends. She's not one of those white ones. Really? You know? That's surprising. She's not a friends girl. Really? No. But that is crazy. R.I.P. Matthew Perry. He was only 54. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like that. <laughs> the, last, the last picture he shared on Instagram was him in a jacuzzi. No way. Yeah, you want to see? That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh, I don't know if I connected to the internet. Oh, fuck, I you know, I, I don't know what the case was with Matthew Perry, but, you know, they say mixing alcohol and jacuzzis can be a dangerous mix. Also, when he put out his book, he talked shit about Keanu Reeves, uh-huh. and then everybody was, like, telling him to die. Do you remember <laughs> that? No. Yeah, and then he came out and said he was really, he apologized for, like, dissing Keanu Reeves in his book, because everyone was like, fuck you, like, we like Keanu Reeves. <laughs> you don't remember that? No, why was he dissing Keanu Reeves? I don't know. I didn't read his book. Uh-huh. Poor Matthew Perry. I feel like a I feel like a girl with really long nails. <laughs> oh, you're gonna make me log in. I have a problem. Why can't I just before. Instagram? I just want to look at this. I have a business anyway. negotiation to attend. Anyway, look, this was the last picture that he shared. Him in a hot tub. Oh wow. A jacuzzi. Wow. Crazy, right? It is. Wow. RT. Yeah. Sorry, Chandler. Jesus Christ. But that's he what, died yesterday. That's what we do when somebody dies. We say yeah. sorry, dude. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Life is precious. Life can be short. Life can be long. And I think... It's hard uh, as hell to drink Red Bull through this mask. Now would be a time to soberly meditate on the on, on what it means to exist. Is that what this episode's going to be? I think it'd be funny to talk about really serious, heavy topics as we're dressed up like this. That would be funny. But it's the Halloween episode. <laughs> you want to have a moment of silence for uh, Matthew Perry? Well, I feel like I feel like we didn't have moment of silences for more famous people. So it's kind of disrespectful to everybody. All right. <laughs> Um, I, I think in a way that's funnier if we have moments of silences for some people, but not for others. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> Whatever you want, dude. This is half your show. And you know what? Like some people might be like, oh, that's disrespectful or whatever. You can make fun of me when I die. Whatever. Oh, I'm dude. I'm, I got folders ready of memes <laughs> for you, dude. You know what? I give you permission when I die. Sully my reputation. Okay. Leak all the DMs. No, because I'm half of those. Okay, leak the parts of the DMs that don't pertain to you. You do it in vanish mode, though. <laughs> <laughs> I have to start screenshotting vanish mode. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, uh, I love doing this stupid ass show. This is so much fun. Dude, now is the time where we can do whatever accents we want. Yeah. Because nobody knows it's us. That's true. I actually also just said, welcome to the Z-Listers podcast. I didn't say our names. Yeah, that's true. So, you're Blood Harvest. And I'm, I'm Blood Harvest. And, and I'm yours? Blood Harvest, friend. <laughs> I don't have a cool name. Jacob. Jacob. <laughs> Jacob. <laughs> I'm Jacob. <laughs> I'm going to not put our names in the description, too. Okay. <laughs> Join Blood Harvest. You know how I do, like, it's episode. You read the descriptions? I have. Uh, I usually say it's, you know, the other guys. Your scarecrow lips look so moist right now. Are they? Yeah, they're covered in Red Bull. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> what do you got for us? What's uh, What's been going on in your life? Um, I don't know, but I hate that you keep doing that on the table. It's fun. It's worse than the water bottle. I've never had nails this long. Yeah. I feel like my ex. <laughs> she had nails like that? Yeah, she had those gross, like, fucking crazy nails. Was that all your fingers that just cracked? Uh, yeah. That was crazy. <laughs> wow. Yeah. You don't like long nails? Um, no. Not the artificially long ones. Like, if a girl has, like, taken the time to, like, really grow her nails out and, like, manicure them, maybe, like, but, like, the unnaturally, like, fake acrylic ones that are, like, like, I yeah. just picture a bubblegum popping receptionist being like, 
Hold on one moment. <laughs> That's how I feel with these fingers. Yeah. I like that, though. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, What about you? Are you? You like long fingernails? Oh, yeah. Yeah. For sure. I hit the microphone again. That's okay. I feel like we feel like the costumes are doing the heavy lifting. Yeah. And we're really sucking right now. Yeah. Dude, I'm so itchy. <laughs> how do scarecrows do it? Cut to the notes. I have none. <laughs> you know something? I, uh, do you, well, you don't, I can't even, you suck. Why? Because. Why? Let's get into it. Okay. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Welcome to the Z-Listers podcast. That's Blood Harvest and I'm Jacob. <laughs> the Scarecrow guy. <laughs> I'm Blood Harvest's friend. Woo! It's our, uh, it's our, we've been doing Halloween themed episodes all month, but this is like the real deal. This is the Halloween episode. Because the eve of All Hallows, All Hallows Eve. Is tomorrow. Is nigh. It yeah. is tomorrow. Hall- no, it's tomorrow. Mischief night? Nigh means near. Oh. You fucking asshole. Well, <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> And pretty soon, you will be too if you're watching this episode. This is going to be our most sensual episode we've ever released. You are foul. <laughs> the reality of it is I have some sort of sexual uh, screw loose. <laughs> and I, I act like a little teenage boy. On, on You know, I've got like some hormones and I... I just say things to be shocking because I'm nervous about being funny. I've... But that, how does that balance out with your fear of being canceled? Yeah, I don't know. Well, I have a mask on, so I can't be canceled. Mm. <laughs> you didn't say our names, right? No, still. I'm Blood Harvest. And I'm Jacob. I'm Blood Harvest. I can say whatever the fuck I want. So I should put a mask on you every episode? <laughs> that might work. That would be fun. We could be like a Daft Punk. Dude, we could be the marshmallow of <laughs> podcasts. Uh, we talk too much, though. That's the thing. Yeah. We'd have to get voice changes, too. <laughs> Brett and Link did an April Fool's episode where they didn't talk for 20 minutes, and I thought that was funny. That is funny. We should do that. Did they show, like, graphics or anything? Or no, they just... they just sat there. That's awesome. Yeah, I thought that was really funny. I'd put out an hour of silence. At, at some point, did they start talking? Never. Oh. That's so it. it was just 20 minutes of silence. Yep. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and I, In a way, I feel like that's kind Fuck. of... Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm sorry. I feel like, in a way, that's, like, what we're doing. Yeah. We have so much fun. Dude, I can't wait till we have like a, we're going to have multicam soon. Mm -hmm. We're, 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 I told you the budget was going up for this episode. (laughs) It's only going up from here. Yeah. What, um, what have you been up to? Oh man, just, uh, you know, chilling, dude. You said you went to, um, what do you call it? What? Uh, Raising Cane. Stop. For the first time. (laughs) Stop touching me. <laughs> and you liked it? Dude, I've had it at parties, but this was the first time I ever had it live. Like like fresh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God, dude. Yeah? Insane. Raising Canes, they know what they're doing, dude. I'm envious. I'll I'm, take you, dude. It I've is, never tried it. Oh my God. It's so good. What'd you get? A Caniac combo. <laughs> I love... That's... Raising Cane's is the only place I'll say their little silly names. <laughs> We've talked about that. If a restaurant has like silly names, I'm not doing it. I'm pointing. But uh, Raising Cane's, I'll say it. Dude, that's what comes in a Caniac combo? It's a six-piece tender. I mean, whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Jacob. <laughs> Thank Jacob. you. Um, you. You totally just threw me off there. You can't say, can't say who I am. I'm Jacob, the scarecrow. <laughs> it's six-piece tender. Fries, cane sauce, which like, when they say like what to drink, I also want cane sauce. <laughs> so good. And a big piece of Texas toast. And this is so, this is horrible podcasting. Yeah. Um, and coleslaw. Oh my God, dude. Raisin canes. I don't know if we put it on our list. Yeah. But it's got to go at the top. I There's, just want to say in regards to the horrible podcasting, you mean like, oh, like every episode? Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> we suck. Uh, no, 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 we're good. And we, that's why we got fucking 15 views on our last episode. No, I already told you why. It was very controversial. <laughs> I was the Pope. I told you to get under the table. The Catholic <laughs> the Catholic Church fucking censored our episode. I wouldn't doubt it, dude. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't doubt it. They've got their fingers in many pots. And, and some of them are underage. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, I should have let you cook because you you were onto something there. Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, I still can't believe this costume was seventy dollars. Yeah, no one was sixty dollars. It's a fucking it's a racket. Man. Yeah. Next year we're opening up a spirit Halloween, <laughs> just so that we could have the costumes to do this, and we got to do it before the twenty third because that's when the return was over. Gotcha. So next year we'll do all of them in a row. Right. Then go return everything. Right. Save a lot of money, but. Save a lot of your money. Yeah. <laughs> it's fun, though. Yeah. I'm you having know. fun. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Try not to let my palms show, because these gloves don't cover my, my palms. Yeah. So I don't want to break character, break the illusion. Do you, I look good? You look really good. Thank it's pretty you. scary. Thanks. Rawr! <laughs> 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 what, what were you as a kid for Halloween? Let's see. Um... God, you really put me on the spot. Here. You don't remember your costumes? No, man. My memory of my childhood is dog shit. Mm. Do you think you blurred it out because it was traumatic? Maybe. Mm. Um, I remember one year I had like a bleeding scream mask. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. I think every kid had. That. Yeah. It was like a mask that contained red liquid. Get on liquid. the mic. You got to get on the mic. And it had red liquid in and it. It had and the, the hose that went up the... I'll put it on the screen, but it had the hose that went up the arm and you had the heart. Yeah, and, yeah, and you, you could, like, it pump it would come to, to oh, that thing was fucking gnarly and cool. I might actually have one of them in my grandma's basement still. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> what the hell was that blood stuff, too? Because I feel like I saw it in my grandma's basement, like, a couple years ago, and it still worked. I was like, that's kind of <laughs> gross. I was Harry Potter once, and actually somebody that I've talked to you about, um, and I'll tell you off air, but I had the wig on. And he pulled my wig off oh. and I, w I had pantyhose on cause I had long hair. Yeah. So I had that like holding my hair up and he ripped my wig off. And did your elementary school have the backpacks in the back of the classroom? Sure. Like with all the code hooks and stuff. The cubbies. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I remember he ripped my wig off and I ran back there and I hid behind the backpacks. Oh. Cause I was like embarrassed that I had like fucking pantyhose on my head. That's really sad. Yeah. Was it, um, the guy we were talking about the other day? No, it was. <laughs> um uh, i wish it was him well dude <laughs> you uh, said his name i'll believe it i read it this. <laughs> uh one year i was when i was really young i was the tin man oh and yeah they, they painted the they got a little suit for me and they painted it silver and look now you're the scarecrow the, ba the bad one <laughs> um what a, i was uh uh this is a long time ago but with an ex i was uh Mordecai and Rigby from regular show. Never seen it. Really? But the, that's one of them's like the blue bird, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were both? No, no, no. Oh. Um, I was Mordecai. She was Rigby. Wait, who? What? Who was? Me and my ex. Oh, I was Mordecai. Okay. She was Rigby. Candle girl. Yeah. <laughs> cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> that's cool. How's she yeah. doing? She keeps commenting on my family's posts on facebook and instagram i don't like that it's move weird. on it's weird move on felicia i like the comment <laughs> <laughs> and the I'm, i was gonna bring this up last episode i saw she watched my story yeah on instagram yeah very weird she can't move on you're the greatest thing that ever happened to her i don't blame her this guy's got a piece on him now i do this <laughs> <laughs> uh, um you touched my foot just for the record did i yeah. I don't think I did. Mine was here and you moved it. I don't think I did. You moved dude. your foot into my foot. Um, Let's move on. What else? I'm trying to think of what else I was. Uh, oh, I couldn't man. tell you a single fucking thing. Really? That's sad. Yeah. I, I could hardly tell you what I had for breakfast. I think I was Winnie the Pooh. Oh. When I was like a baby. Oh. You make then, such a then, cute little poo. And then I was... <laughs> now you just make cute poos and you send them to Do you me. want to talk about you missing the toilet? <laughs> <laughs> Sure. You want to talk about that? I mean, it's going to turn some of our viewers slash listeners off, but fuck it. Nobody Can I pull the, the picture up? Anyway. What? Can I pull the picture up? Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. I don't care. Um. Well, no, because I'll have to censor it. I don't want to do all that. <laughs> but, you know, maybe I'll put it on the screen censored. No, I'm not going to do that either. So, the other day. <laughs> this is uh, insane. This is absolutely, you know, 
when again, I don't know if you feel like this right now, but I feel like we're not hitting right now. No, and, we're not. And when when something's not working, when you're trying new material, sometimes you just got to go back to what you know. <laughs> so I know it grosses people out, but we got to fucking talk about this because this is insane, dude. My pooping ha- habits are uh, bad. Dude, yeah. Your bathroom practices, I don't know where you develop this. Like, I, I want to say for the record, before I tell this story, this isn't something that happens like ever. Hey. One one time in your life is too many. <laughs> this should never have happened. I went to the bathroom, and I had a lot of buildup of gas, and I thought I was going to push out like a big old for, log. First of all, for new new listeners, which we don't have any of, <laughs> but you don't sit down. Yeah, you I hover. hover because I don't. I just don't trust toilet seats. I, I know now, it's silly. Now, when you hover, do you pick up both seats? Um. Yeah. So it's. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. Like the seat that everybody sits on, you lift that one up too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, Unbelievable. So so I'm sitting there with my pants around my ankles. I'm hovering. Mm -hmm. And I have a large buildup of gas. And I think I'm going to push out a big old log. And uh, next thing I know, it's a bunch of gas followed by like a a small shit rocketing from my anus. (laughs) And I turn around. (laughs) And, and I missed the bowl. <laughs> <laughs> the trajectory was off. I mean, gases how, are unpredictable. If you're squatting above the toilet, how yeah, did they I, come out and go sideways? I don't know. <laughs> Dude, you, I, you, I put a little English on me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you sent me a picture of a piece of crap next to the toilet, and you said... <laughs> <laughs> You took a picture. I don't know. It happened. <laughs> you took a picture. I didn't even really think about this. Hey, it happens to the best of us. Dude, no, it doesn't. <laughs> You've made fun of me for shitting my pants. <laughs> hey, anybody watching or listening, please leave a comment. Send us an email. Let us know if you've ever missed the ball. <laughs> it happens. I think it happens more than anybody wants to admit. <laughs> you sent us... <laughs> And so I gingerly picked it up with a piece of toilet paper after how, okay, sending how you much, a picture. How much toilet paper? Because that's a really good question. Well, you gotta you gotta get a good amount so you're not like touching the shit. But it was squishy, and it was. Did very you wipe the floor and, with another piece? Huh? Did you wipe the floor where it was with another piece? Um, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <Whoops. laughs> that is crazy, dude. It'll get bleached eventually. Oh my god. By yeah. you? <laughs> Dude, that is nuts. Yeah. It came out how did it go? Like Maybe I was just leaning the wrong way. Or something. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe oh I maybe god. I have like so when rifling you're sh- in my anus. <laughs> when you're when you're standing there, I feel like I'm trying to get a mental image and I feel like it's like a football player in a huddle. Uh-huh. Like hands on the knees, like waiting for the play. Yeah. That am I right? Yeah, more or less. Okay. So but you're not making sure that it's straight down. I I don't know. What's what the to distance tell between you? the top, the rim of the bowl, and your ass? What's the di- What's the distance? Uh, slightly less than a foot, maybe. <laughs> and it, I, I don't know what happened, man. <laughs> maybe it was a ricochet scenario. <laughs> oh, so walk me. Through. <laughs> <laughs> walk me through it do you what? want me to demonstrate no 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 just just walk me through the, like what was your I, I know we can't take our masks off here but like what what was going on in your mind what was your face like <laughs> were you like oh no or we did was it funny in the moment like what was going on i feel like i probably turned around and i was like oh <laughs> uh, i don't know i might have i might have chuckled a little bit did you bit. tell your girlfriend no, I don't think so. Would you ever? Yeah, why not? I would tell her. Call I'm already her. pretty like open with her. I'd tell her about some crazy Call stuff. Call her right now. <laughs> <laughs> Call her up and tell her you have something to say. Blood Harvest doesn't know how to operate the telephone. <laughs> <laughs> then how does Blood Harvest know what a telephone is? <laughs> Do you use Face ID on your phone? Yeah. Oh, that wouldn't work anyway. Yeah. The Amish, the Amish know about phones, but they don't use them. You know what was funny? Do you remember when we talked about that alert? Everybody getting that alert? Yeah. People got kicked out of the Amish because they were that exposed them for having phones. Yeah. Did you see that? I I heard that. I don't know if that's true, but I think it's true. Yeah. Because people sell. There's like a black market for cell phones for the Amish. Yeah. They like leave them in like pipes and drainage ditches and stuff. That's and then they tell the Amish to like leave money, and they're paying like five hundred dollars for like a track phone. (laughs) 
That's crazy. People Can they like, even watch porn on that? I don't think so. What's the point? I think just to yeah, like, but then <laughs> and then if you're Amish and have a phone and none of your friends do, why do you have a phone? Yeah, like what are you gonna do? Who but are maybe you texting. But some of the some of the very smart or, or the very basic smartphones uh, probably can access the internet. Yeah, like those the low level galaxies that they make. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. But do you? Think I heard like, prisoners got in trouble too. Who? Prisoners got busted. Oh really? Because that went off on their phones too. Uh. But some prisoners are allowed to have phones, right? Yeah, I see them on TikTok all the time. Which is weird. It's very weird. Like, like They're on TikTok live in jail. Yeah. Which is so crazy. How much do you think they get to use their phones? Because I'd be on it 24-7 if I were in prison. Yeah, I mean, I guess. Imagine, I like to think you, like, on the top bunk just scrolling reels. <laughs> <laughs> My, or like you post in a picture of like those little tiny windows and it just says like rise and grind. <laughs> <laughs> My celly would get so mad at me because he just hear like, <laughs> like, like POV, you're a, you're a big booty Latina and you, your pants don't fit. You would make so much money letting people watch your explore page. <laughs> in jail. You would charge like, so bro, many how honey do buns. Even find this? So many honey buns. <laughs> <laughs> and, and zebra cakes and Fritos just for people I, to be able to look at your explore page. I'd just be drowning in fucking uh, Fifi's. <laughs> <laughs> That's disgusting, dude. <laughs> Don't Google that, please. Imagine terribly. how many Fifi's would be given to me. <laughs> Used. <laughs> oh, Wow. Well, you think you'd survive in jail? No. Yeah. Dude, rough. I'd kill myself. Really? First week. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> Even if it's like a year sentence. Dead. What if you had like nine months? <laughs> Too long. You can't cage me up. <laughs> if you do, I'll find a way to end it. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy, dude. <laughs> do you think you would be able to hover and shit like you do in front of your cell? <laughs> <laughs> You'd be like, bro, what are you doing? Bro, just sit down. <laughs> that's crazy. You would probably, like, you would go to jail for something like really basic yeah like nothing that crazy yeah and then like you know you you'd go to jail for like uh unpaid tickets yeah just because you were too lazy yep and then i like, almost did <laughs> really <laughs> no but like the ticket scared me really yeah i had a i had a parking ticket that was total bullshit by the way of course um and i waited like weeks to pay it and then i realized i only like you only had like a week after you got it to pay it. Sure. And it says in the fine print, it's like, you may, you may have to go to court if you like are late or something like that. And I was yeah. like, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> and I immediately went on my phone and paid it. And it was such a cinch to do it was so easy, <laughs> but I just forgot to do it. Anyway, uh, I, I was got, scared. I got a parking ticket and it was $10. And then it had like all these dates on it that if you pay after those dates, it would go up and up and up. Yeah. But then it was like some third party that the ticket was going to. It wasn't yeah. even like the town or the city where I got the ticket. Yeah. Right. I waited like 10 months to pay that <laughs> shit. And I've avoided that town since just because I'm scared. But I paid the ticket. Say the town. No. Leave it out. But yeah, so you would go to jail for that. And then like they'd put you in like, because you would go to jail, right? And then you'd be there for like your court date or whatever. And they would put you like with like, a really crazy criminal yeah. and you would like freak them out <laughs> with just how weird you are <laughs> like the, the toughest of killers Aww. would just be creeped out by you that's so cute man like, nah bro that guy that guy fucking squats when he shits he misses <laughs> all the time <laughs> and, you, and you're like it was a buildup of little debbie cakes i'm sorry <laughs> you want to look at my phone oh uh. My cellmate's just got like dirty feet. He's like, dude, I'm tired of stepping in your shits. <laughs> they don't even come and check your cell because they're afraid to go in it. <laughs> wow. I'm the first I'm the first prisoner to do a, an accidental dirty protest. <laughs> oh man. Oh imagine. You would those... complain about the food too. That'd be so funny. <laughs> oh man. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, I don't think you wouldn't make it. Do they do they have toilet seats in prison, or is it just the bowl? I think it's just the bowl. Jeez, imagine having one of these in your house. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> they look easy to clean, though. Yeah, yeah. You would just it would be all over the side here. Are regular like porcelain toilet bowls that expensive? I don't think so. No, I think you could buy like a regular toilet. For, like, That's a, a lot. Bucks. 
What do you think the flushing capacity is on a thing like that? I don't know, but I kind of like something like this with the sink in the back. Yeah. It's pretty convenient. Yeah. You could, like, straddle it and brush your teeth as you're taking a <laughs> piss in the morning. Do you know how much time this would save me? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> like 30 seconds. Wow. It kind of, like, with the, the head of the bowl plus, like, this part, it kind of looks like a little sperm. <laughs> <laughs> what is... What's in your head? <laughs> I think there's sperm in your head. <laughs> what the fuck is this podcast? It's fun, dude. Yeah. It's so much fun. Yeah. This should be the one that we send to family. <laughs> when they ask, like, what our podcast is like. The Halloween Spooktacular. Does your girlfriend still call this, like, a thing that you have to do? She made, like, an offhand comment, like, one time, and you are latching it on, uh, latching on to What'd it. What'd you tell her today? I probably said I had to do the podcast. And what'd she say? She was like, okay. Mm -hmm. She respects it. Okay. She mm -hmm. supports our empire. I'm just checking. And an empire we shall have. <laughs> you ready? Three, two. <laughs> you scared me. You went on two. Wow. Uh, I'm not giving anybody warning. Yeah, dude. This is fun. Yeah. My storage unit is filled with every costume we've had this year. Did you talk on the podcast about how you have a storage unit now? I did, but I cut it out. Oh. But yeah, I have a storage unit. Yeah. And it is full almost. And You're that's an adult. Sad. Yeah. You have, you have more things dude, than you know what to do with. I have this, this is kind of, this makes me sound like really messy, but I'm not, but I kind of am. I have this like little section next to my desk at home yeah and there's like a bunch of computers there that i like a <laughs> bunch of computers there that i <laughs> built and um you know just a bunch of shit over there then my mom gave me this big bag full of hats she's uh -huh. like oh these are all your hats there had to be like 50 hats in there yeah and underneath next to the computer underneath the bag of hats was this like um reusable shopping bag uh -huh. and in it was my suit jacket and those glasses when we cheers uh -huh. It's been there for 16 weeks, <laughs> just sitting. Like, I got home, and I put it down, and then I just went through it yesterday. And I was were like, they moldy? Oh. No, they, was, they were clean. They were, okay. I just wrapped them in a T-shirt because when I had them in the bag, I didn't want them to break. Right. Like, banging into each other. But uh, it's been great having a storage unit. Dude. Like, it really makes me feel... It was a little... So, at first, I got excited to have it. Then I got depressed because I was like, oh, this feels like such like a divorced guy thing to have. Yeah. You know? But now, now it's, you know, it's getting filled up, and I'm like... It's pretty cool. I got a storage unit. You just made me realize fucking Toast never sent us champagne. Yeah. I, they probably have an email that is sitting in our email that I don't check. God damn it. You, you're bad at you're I got bad a lot to email. do, dude. I got a lot to do. You don't look at the email. I Because I, I got to edit that goddamn episode. Uh, you want to help a little? Yeah. I don't right. think you do. Hand over the reins. I will handle the emails. You know the password. No, I don't. It's the same password for everything. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. And Mark. <laughs> just so you know when to edit. What if I just kept it in? <laughs> Nobody listens. Oh my god, this is this is I know I had the hair twice from the wolf and Bob Ross. The Pope one was pretty easy. This is like the most uncomfortable costume that we've ever had. <laughs> really? That I've ever had. Yeah. Really? Yeah. It's pretty bad. What what's so bad about it? The way that this thing feels on my face <laughs> and on my chin yeah. is driving me up the wall. <laughs> it's insane. And I can't see anything either. But. I'm sweating profusely under this, under all this. Oh, yeah. We had to stop because I had to cut a hole in the mouth part of your mask so that people could actually hear you. Yeah. It was soaking wet inside <laughs> that mask. And I had been wearing it for 30 seconds. Yeah, yeah, not even. You were like, okay, let's test it. And we checked the mics. And <laughs> I was like, oh, I can't really hear you. It was soaked inside. <laughs> it's also crazy, too, that like, um, what one did I return? I returned the Pope one. Yeah. They didn't even open the bag. That's awesome. I folded it back up and I made it look like it looked when I bought it. Yeah. But I could have like wiped with it. I <laughs> just hid that part in the middle. Yeah. They didn't even open it or question it. They were yeah. just like, is anything wrong with it? And I just said no. <laughs> so. Oh, well. I but, used it for sex. I got what I needed. <laughs> oh, that lady at the... I, Spirit Halloween hires from high schools and halfway houses. <laughs> That's where they get their employees. There's, there's no in between. <laughs> but shout out to Spirit Halloween. You doing good though? You look good. You look scary. Thank you. Yeah. 
Yeah, I just uh, did some like Halloween fun festivities with my wife over the weekend, and it yeah, was fun. talk about that. What'd you do? You saw a movie on a rooftop. What yeah, else? We, went, we did this rooftop movie in New York City, and that was fun. We got like pretty, pretty, yeah, pretty lit, and it was just relaxing. And it was a beautiful day. And yeah, uh, it's been oddly warm. Yeah, I'm very nervous. It was it's, 82 on Friday. Yeah, and it's gonna be November in like two days. Yeah, <laughs> but I like it. It's crazy. Yeah, and um, what do we do Friday night? Friday night? Oh, Friday night we went to see Rocky Horror Picture Show. Oh yeah, like live where they they do like the whole cast and they act it out while the movie's playing and stuff. Okay, how was that? Um, it was okay. Yeah, that doesn't it, seem something like you would like at all. But here's the thing. Number one, I, I like to think, I like the idea that I would be the person who likes that. You okay. know what I mean? Sure. Um, and, and, and second of all, the reason that I didn't love it, audience participation is like a big, big, like crucial part of a live Rocky Horror Picture Show. Sure. And the audience was just kind of whack. They mm. didn't like participate like they should have. And so it makes you... It makes you like self conscious. You're like, I don't want to fucking participate if nobody else is. Yeah, and but it's see, just kind of boring. But I feel like if you can get over that, you'll have so much more fun. Yeah. Because I, I mean, I did get up and dance a little bit. Okay. You and like throw like, shit. And... I've been trying to get into the mindset of like, no one's going to remember this. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and there are things that happen where like, you know, somebody will like fall down or something, right? And then like, no, like you'll see it, right? And you'll be with somebody. And then like months later, you'll reference it and be like, remember when that lady? And you'll laugh about it, you know? Yeah. And I wonder, not that I'm like falling down all the time, but like <laughs> I've probably done things that are embarrassing that people have seen. Yeah. I wonder how many, to how many people I am that, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. But But if you just think about it, like, you know, you do something crazy or maybe you embarrass yourself, like, in an hour, like, the people are going to forget it. Yeah. You know, they got so much shit going on. Everybody got stuff going on. It's so funny to me that you're saying all this shit with this mask. It's <laughs> it's just so fucking funny. Even now when you're smiling, <laughs> it kind of looks like the scarecrow smiling. Really? It's just That's fucking true. funny. Yeah, but I've been trying to work on being more uh, outgoing. I would say more so you're, like, people aren't going to remember you for embarrassing shit. They're going to have, like like, horror stories about, like, some crazy guy yelling at them in the car and shit. Like, I don't do that, dude. People definitely remember you for that. I don't do that. I don't know? yell at people, dude. What are you <laughs> oh talking about? God. Dude, you do finger guns at people. I don't do that anymore, and I just had this argument with my girlfriend over the weekend. <laughs> I don't do someone, that anymore. You go like this. I'm going to... I had too many bad experiences and gotten some dangerous situations. I don't do that anymore. <laughs> I'm sweaty. Okay, but they're gonna know who it is as soon as the curtain's glowing under there. <laughs> what did she? What did she say to you? She just brought up the finger guns, and I was like, "Nah, nah, nah, nah! I don't do that anymore because I've been in some hairy situations because of it." <laughs> okay, so that's good. You learn from it. Yeah, so but I'm I, to be more I still outgoing. do give people the finger sometimes. Do you do it below the window so they can't no. see? It? No, you do. It I up. want them to see. Do you do thumb out or thumb in? Um, I do thumb out. I think yeah. it looks very goofy to do thumb in. Really? It looks. It looks like you're a little kid who just learned how to do the finger. I feel like Mister, <laughs> look at my middle finger. But let me see thumb out now. You think that's more offensive? See, I feel like the thumb adds, like, it, it makes it less offensive. I guess so. You know? Let's do, a, let's do an Instagram poll. Middle finger, thumb in, or thumb out? What do you do? It's like a little more, like, I don't give a fuck. Fuck you. It's like lazier, kind of. Yeah, if like you, and especially if you don't close the whole hand. Yeah. you just like... That's really lazy, but yeah. <laughs> what if we opened the haunted house? We didn't like scare people. We just like insulted them. <laughs> just, like, Fuck. Fuck you, you jerk <laughs> off. <laughs> they like turn the corner and like they see us and they're waiting for. Us. Or it's like, Fuck yeah, you. What do you want? <laughs> hey, does this scare you, sweetheart? <laughs> Fuck you. Move it or lose it. <laughs> you fucking jerk off. <laughs> oh, dude, that's the Jersey crazy. haunted house <laughs> sounds awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yay. Or, and, and we like, um, as they're like walking through the haunted house, we just like cut in front of them. <laughs> we just like cut the whole line, <laughs> you know? That'd be good. Yeah. Nice. But see, we're, we're making change for the better. We're trying yeah. to work on ourselves. And as long as you're doing that every day, I feel like that's what life's about. Can I tell you about my idea? Um, 
Maybe I'll regret saying this on the podcast, but whatever. I don't think I'm going to say anything that crazy. Okay. And maybe I'll tell you off air. I'll tell you off air. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's how you know it's really crazy. I don't think it's that crazy, but you can tell me off air if you think I should have said it on the podcast. Okay. And if you think I should have said it, then I'll say it next episode. Okay. Yeah. My grandma gave me a box to open, on, uh-huh. and I said, it, it's not for you. It's for me only. It says okay. delivery for me. But uh, I told her we can't open it on this episode because it's a Halloween. But next time, we have a, I have a package to open. Okay. Um, nice. Yeah. So. I'm looking forward to seeing what's in your grandma's box. <laughs> 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 this has been the Z-Listers <laughs> Halloween podcast. <laughs> Sorry if it sucked. We're um, we're dying up Fuck here. Fuck you. We don't give a shit. Let's we're sweating out our assholes. Let's just fucking do it. How long are we out here? Fuck you, jerk off. Yeah, this might be a half hour podcast. Who cares?